Check it out, bring you another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we got a special one for you. We are going to be boosting up maximum amounts of statues to use with the Lasertron MK2. So, what we have here, guys, we have a bit of a statue change on our hands. Uh, I went ahead and I got rid of that Troop Health Guardian because, honestly, it wasn't really helping me that much. And um, I had another perfect damage in store. Um, so, I figured we might as well take out the, the Troop Health, throw up the Troop Damage. And I was playing around, I, I did this mainly for operations, of course, but uh, I was playing around with these uh, these Lasertron guys. And um, where do we see them? Do we see them in armory or do we see them? I guess the only way to see their information is from the uh, the, the troop selector page. Or the, um, not the armory, the, um, guys, where do you see the, where do you see the info on the, uh, on the Lasertrons? Either way, it doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, we, we... We used the uh, the five troop damage uh, statues fully boosted, and it is just insane to see these to set these laser trons loose on a map, and just see what they can do. So we got uh, Kavan's uh, restoration ability loaded up, and you see there, even with fully boosted GBE, it takes one hundred. But look at this! Look at this! Like they just touch stuff. Like they just touch defenses and they melt. Obviously, this guy doesn't have any ice statues, but I mean, it's just silly, and it's all, it's a ton of fun. Like. We, we've basically decimated this guy's entire base. Decimated it. Like, we're not even off the beach yet. Like, it's, it's just insane. So, the only thing you really have to watch out for are these boom cannons. Um, we actually did lose... We lost a ton of laser trons already, so... Uh, gotta be a little bit more careful. Um, but that was just the chicken getting too excited here. I mean, look. We, like, we've already, we've already destroyed the guy's entire base. We destroyed the entire guy's base in, like, five seconds, guys. Like, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. Um, the amount of work that you can get done with these freaking laser tanks and we can use the second wind ability um, I could have just used the second wind ability and got them all um, Loaded right back up to uh, to what we needed them to be at so it's just it's it's hilarious because the, they used to be so bad right like they used to be so bad and now it's just like They're unbelievably strong. Look at them just melt the shield the old laser trons They could sit at the shield for the entire duration of the attack and they wouldn't get anywhere like they wouldn't even put a dent into it so to have them like this with the with the maximum boost is just it's hilarious. So let's see if we can find a harder base and uh, take them down doing this, doing the same things. So we lost five laser trons there. That's going to cost us five hundred thousand gold to retrain. Oh my god! Oh man, they're a rich man's they're a rich man's toy, I guess you would say. So, um, yeah, we don't need to use eight laser trons. That's a little excessive, but uh, but it's fun, guys. It's fun because now we have no gunboat energy left to do anything. Um, but look at this, they're clearing all the mines on the base, they're ripping through machine guns just through, just with pairs of them. Um, we can honestly just save all of our gunboat energy for, uh, for, uh, Kavon's restoration ability to, uh, just to bring back some laser tanks. And, um, yeah, like I said, the, the better way to use them is going to be, um, with medics, um, because, like, it's just, it's hard to keep them all alive. They, they do go down fairly... Not easily, but they don't have much health uh, for the amount of GBE that they cost, considering they cost more than a Scorcher to put out. They don't have that much health to back them, but... Like, we'll go like this. We'll flare them all right back here. Uh, we'll, we'll throw out some critters uh, right about here. And... Oh, Kavon went down. Okay, so that's no good. So we did lose a couple lasers, but that's fine. Um, oh, this stupid freaking... Uh, these things drive me nuts. Uh, so we'll go like that. We'll go like uh, this... And we'll take this guy out, and we'll take that guy out, and then we'll take down this shock blaster right in the back over here. Then we'll start to work on this um, this boom cannon right on this side, guys. We'll go over here, and then we can just flare them right back onto this side. Throw down some critters here to distract that cannon, hopefully. That cannon has absolutely zero health left. So we'll go like this. We'll get a med pack going in on them right here. And um, at this point, we've cleared out everything, and... It's also super fast. It's also a super fast way to, to clear your map if you if you do have a boost going from an operation and you just want to take a take a bunch of bases down really quickly. Like you mix this in with a couple grins and it's just it's just see you later. This, shout out to this guy's green statues, guys. That definitely helps us out there. But uh, yeah, moving on up. Uh, I don't know if we should put in some medics, but I mean for the sake of the video, let's just use let's just go crazy and, and use all laser trons just because we can. Um, so we'll go like this. We'll throw them all out. And yeah, obviously, well, I mean, we talked about good ways of using them yesterday. So today we're just having fun, guys. Um, all right, so we'll go like that. Now, if we can keep Kavon alive. But I mean, look at this. Like, this boom cannon all the way back here is almost already out of the picture. Like, that is just insane, guys. So we'll go like this. We'll go like this. And we'll throw a splash couple of artillery down like that. 
and one, one more over here and uh, throw a couple critters over this way and like yeah I don't know I just find it so funny that it's like you put them out on the beach and then you're, you're already working on the defenses that are just at the back of the base it's uh, it's definitely a different kind of troop definitely a different one it's like um, it's like grenadiers but just on even more steroids than they're already on currently which is kind of funny but uh, yeah so that boom can is going to eat one of our laser tanks but that's okay uh, we still have come on uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take down this guy then we're gonna spawn up another laser tron and uh, I mean the, the base is already gonna be taken down um, before we can farm up enough gunboy energy to to um, before we can farm enough GB to uh, take down to, to, to spawn another one actually it looks like we are gonna be able to spawn another one so look at this guys uh, this guy has the iron mega crab uh, trophy which means he, sh he should have the uh, the, the um, he should have the wood one as well, because you were able to get both of them at one time, but uh, maybe the glitch was... Oh, I also heard that there's a glitch right now that anyone can put out the diamond trophy, even if you even if you didn't get it. Um, so let me know if that's actually a thing. Go to the decorations tab here. And, uh, yeah, I got nothing else there, so... Um, yeah, let's go ahead, guys. Let's dive and do another one. Let's take down another base of, uh, of all Lasertron goodness and see what kind of... Uh, see what kind of stuff we can get into here. So we'll use all of them again just because we can and uh, like they can they can take down that cannon before it's off the beach which is pretty good uh, we'll go like this so the boom cannon and that rocket launcher are fixated on those critters we could use a second win here just to get some riflemen going and uh, and help with um, distracting these boom cannons which is kind of turning out to be a bit of a problem what we've seen so far uh, so we'll go like this I'm actually gonna go ahead and take down the sky shield and work away on this doom cannon because uh, that's going to be a huge issue for sure. Um, okay, the critters just got rinsed by that laser, but that's okay. And then we go like that. The critters took uh, the critters and the lasers took care of that doom can already. So now we can just flare back right over here. We don't have to put them in uh, into range of anything. Um, we didn't lose any laser trons on this one. So let's actually put some smoke on them here, guys. And we'll go ahead and see if we can uh, flash kill the HQ. Um, okay, so these riflemen can go ahead and die. Goodbye, riflemen. Thank you for your... Uh, Thank you for your patronage. And then we'll go like this. We'll flare them onto the HQ. Look at that, guys. One shot and two shots. Boom. Zap. 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 Zampano MD goes down. Back, back, back. So that's almost going to wrap it up for the video today. But uh, we'll take out one more base. Because why not? We're hanging out. We're uh, we're chilling. We're having a good time with the uh, with the laser guys. Um, and yeah. So we only have them for three, two, two more days and eight hours. But uh, roughly by the time this comes out. Um... And yeah, I'm excited if the Lasertrons are this good. How freaking good are the are the, uh, are the the Rainmakers going to be? Uh, okay, so what do we need to do for this base, guys? So, for this base, we'll throw out everything right here. And since we don't have any extra GBE... But look at this. His Sky Shield placement is absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. One of the worst I've ever seen, I think. Because um, we can just sit back here with the lasers. We can sit back here like this. And we can just take down... Everything inside that sky shield basically being completely out of range of it. So I'll go like this. I'll throw the critters up. I'll let them kind of spike their way through. And uh, we did lose one laser tron, so we'll bring them back with the on. And we're able to sit back and just, just completely destroy everything that's inside that sky shield without even really having to worry about taking it down. Um, so his place, like, you got to be careful where you put, put your sky shields. And honestly, it's not that great of a prototype. It really isn't. I thought it was going to be much better than what it, uh, what it's turned out to be. Um, but it's really not that good. Um, I mean, there's so many easy ways to just, uh, to go about taking it down. I think they need to look at, uh, but I don't know. At the same time, if they look at rebalancing the sky shield and making it harder to take down, it could be like, it could be game breaking as well. Like it might be, it might make these bases way too hard to take down. But, uh, but guys, that is going to wrap it up for the video today. These laser trons are absolutely insane. Um, having a lot of fun with them. Make sure to, you. Um, Make sure to use them on your uh, on your map clears. I was thinking about diving into an, uh, an operation attack with them, but uh, seeing as how the Chicken Coop 5, man, just hit the leaderboard, big shout out to the Chicken Coop, guys. Check this out. The Chicken Coop 5, man, the comeback is on. We hit uh, the highest leaderboard position reach was number 45. I don't think we're on there right now. It's because of the, uh, the time zone or the time force point uh, swap. But we made it on the leaderboard already, guys. Uh, soon to be that number one spot. Keep a lookout on your, uh, on your local top 50. But... Uh, but yeah, guys, that's going to wrap up the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. And we'll see you next one, guys. Chicken out. Oh,